Hello, and welcome to Introduction to Optimization. This video covers several methods for obtaining derivatives in optimization. Derivatives and gradients are a very important part of optimization because they help the solver determine which direction to go to look for the optimum. Today, we'll cover three different methods of obtaining these derivatives. Symbolic differentiation, numerical differentiation, and automatic differentiation. First, symbolic differentiation. Think back to taking derivatives in calculus class. You would apply rules to differentiate a function step by step, eventually ending up with an analytic solution for the derivative of the function. Symbolic differentiation works the same way. The computer applies the rules of differentiation step by step to a function and returns an analytic expression for the derivative can then use that expression to obtain the derivative of a function at a specific point. This can be useful, but has a couple of drawbacks. First, some functions in your program may not have analytic derivatives. Second, symbolic differentiation takes your entire program and returns one giant expression for the derivative, which may be very long and slow to evaluate. The second technique is numerical differentiation. The classic form of numerical differentiation is finite difference. Finite differencing essentially takes the slope of a function by comparing the function value at different points. For example, in a first order finite difference, the function is evaluated at the desired point and also at a point a little bit further on. Then the slope of the line between the points is computed. The closer the two points are together, the more accurately that slope represents the true derivative of the function. The major problem with finite differencing is that computers have a limit on how closely they can put the two points together before errors are introduced due to machine precision. This means that finite differencing can't return the exact derivative of a function, only a close estimate. It's worth noting that there are some more advanced methods such as complex step that can help to get around this problem. Numerical differentiation also becomes very slow for large dimensional problems. The third technique we'll discuss today is automatic or algorithmic differentiation. Automatic differentiation is similar to symbolic differentiation in that it applies a series of rules to obtain a derivative from a function. The difference is that automatic differentiation is specifically designed to work on computer code. At a basic level, all computer code is made up of simple instructions such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Automatic differentiation uses the chain rule to break the instructions your code is giving down into their simplest parts, and then differentiates each part. The individual parts are then brought back together to give you your derivative. Automatic differentiation provides exact derivatives to machine precision, and is much faster than finite differencing for large problems. The drawback is that it is more difficult to implement. To summarize, today we discuss three ways in which derivatives can be obtained for optimization. Symbolic differentiation is useful for gaining insight into a problem, but it's slow and inefficient. Numerical differentiation is easy to program, but inaccurate. Automatic differentiation is fast and accurate, but more difficult to code. Thank you for watching. Please see these videos for other optimization topics.